Welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Alright. I'm heading to the tower here. Pretty much straight there. I don't know what else. But I'm gonna go into the underground today just to progress that. Uh, to get the Shaker Slate upgrade. Uh, I mean, Parapad. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> hey, is it Twitch yet? How's it going? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think there's much else in this northern area. I mean... Without the radar, it's kind of... It's going to be hard to pick up where the stuff is. I'm good. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> this bad nose. Let's go. Ah, damn it. Right when I tamed it, it's okay. Be cool if you could get the bear to fight. Crystal clear up there. <laughs> I was waiting for that. There we go. Cold, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, there we go. You know what? Give me a sword. I got frozen. It was a frost towel, a uh, pebblet. <laughs> the game's just not letting me grab a bear. What is, what is this a bridge here now? That's the sign, dude. Easy. 
How's the president standing? Okay. I just wish there was a way to track these signs. Where I've done them. But otherwise, cool quest. I mean, I, I get it. It's just... If I do this now, is it going to be permanent or is this something that I'm just going to have to... redo every time? Large structures in particular that just kind of get annoying to deal with. But okay, let's start with this. the Korok. Off in the distance. I didn't notice it, but it's there. I'm not even going to look, because the friend is going to be at the top there. See, if I go to the effort of using a rocket or something, it's just going to overshoot it. Stand there.
That wasn't too bad. The tem temptation to send them up on a rocket was strong, but I resisted. Okay, so there's nothing to be done here. Should start looking at some of the sky stuff in this area as well. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Batteries. I mean, I guess this can take me along. I guess that's the intent behind it. I'm not sure how batteries work. I would assume just attach it to the thing you want to have more power. Is that all we have here? Dumb. It's okay. The main thing is I've made it. Huh? 
Doesn't matter how. I need to get more Zono parts. A light? Okay. A fan. What does it want me to do here? Where is it? Okay, it's over there. <laughs> hey, confirming. You're eating these super cheap burritos that are frozen. They're satisfying. This primal urge in you because they're good. Despite them looking like baby food on the inside. It's just... Whatever additives they're using just taste delicious. Come on, style po style points. Posts? I can't get these things to break ever. <laughs> Have I done Elden yet? Mm, no. Uh, I'm gonna do a bit of the underground first, then I'll go to Elden. But I wanted to do some sky stuff first, yeah. So at the very least. The very least do the majority of this at least I think. This is ridiculous. It's... I have an axe, right? Hmm. 
Oh. It's not what I was expecting. What is that? It's like... How many Koroks have I gotten? I think about a hundred. Is that the maze, but now it's in the sky? No. It's like a sky labyrinth. I, I'm gonna have to use batteries to get across there. You have 20. <laughs> you haven't been looking for them, have you? I don't know what to tell you. I haven't I haven't exactly been going out of my way either. It's not like in Breath of the Wild where I was zigzagging across the entire map to try and find them. I've just been playing. What the heck? I don't want to mess this up. On the center of this, clearly. Did I finish with Joshua Quest? No. Yeah, that's what I want to go do next. This is a bad idea, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Okay. I think it's crossed. That seemed to have worked. So there's another way in. We have a platform to be able to get out. I don't see the stone though. I also hooked up the uh, the N64 earlier. It's so good. I mean, for the picture quality that comes out of it, it's kind of surprising. I'm sure you could get something sharp from emulation as well, but man, it's nice. There's still a stasis for the backpack Koroks. Yeah. Stasis, I think, is the one that um, I would like to have again. Stasis was just so useful. Especially in combat. I mean, this is 
a form of stasis, but it's just not quite the same. Batteries. But yeah, it should be fun taking the N64 out for a spin. One thing I did notice is the controller definitely feels different to uh, the new one Nintendo has released. It's weird, the analog stick feels flimsier, and yet it feels like it registers better. I'm not sure if I was imagining it. Because one of the things I had when I was playing through Mario 64, through the collection, was just... I don't know, I, I found myself just messing up from a control perspective. My airplane is a brick, yeah, that's... It's a transport vehicle. Well, it's kind of... Huh. <laughs> How is it being weighted? You know, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's go. Trust, trust in the system. Oh shit, hold on. Alright, we can get there through the power of, uh, momentum. But I'm going back for that chest. As to not to waste battery. I'm going back for that chest because it's probably an important one. not gonna go in here just yet. I'm going to chest first. Okay. Can I fast travel to this? Can. Okay, excellent. Because what I would like to do is using this vehicle get to that other spot as well. Okay, gotta aim it directly over there. Perfect. Doesn't matter. 
I can't tell if this is directly over it or not. It's probably just off. See, if I mess this up, this is going to fall to the ground. I think it should be okay. So I have to have... Okay. Oh. Just. Cool, and now I can just come back. I'm gonna, once I leave this, I'll go back and get it again. And use it to travel across to the next one. going to make another burrito. How many have you eaten? <laughs> I mean, not that it matters. Just, that's a question out of curiosity. Only one. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, max in the whole day was five. I mean... I can't imagine they'd be very big. Like, frozen ones, they'd probably be... If you compare it to one that you would get from, like, a restaurant or something, they'd probably not be as thick, I would imagine, so... I could probably eat two. 200 calories, not big at all. There you go. Yeah, then... It's nothing. going across there again. I wonder if they do that because they think that you're not going to make it. All these little islands scattered around. I want to get to... Oh, you can do it. Stop. There we go. This one in particular. Why is there a lone island here with a tree? Or did I get fooled into coming here? Looks like I was fooled. Going back. Oh, I guess I don't need it. Let's 
should we I just should be able to do what I did before. Oh, there's something underneath me even. But is that that almost just looks like a way to get up here. Okay, this is a spot. Careful. Oh no. Don't fall. <laughs> Such a specific spot. Okay, there we go. And we have our trusty vehicle here. Ready to go. Call it what you will. The important thing is it's going to get me where I need to go. I think what's amazing about this is just ordinarily with these kind of games you have to form a circuit. There would be something that would connect these components together to make them work, but here it's just as long as they're within proximity of one another, it, it just it just works. But you gotta give them credit for that. Somewhat high ground. the Star Fox music. <laughs> Ooh, is it gonna make it? Okay, just cruise for a bit. Go. Oh no! What happened? What happened? Well, I'm here now, but... This isn't going to do me a lot of good. 
the thing fell out of the sky. It ran out of juice, I guess. Also, hey, Carl, run. Good morning. Ah, there's no way back up. Damn it. Um, it's okay. I think I need more battery. I can fast travel back. It's no biggie. Too bad you can't rewind yourself. It would be cool. Do I have batteries on me? Okay, I do. I feel like if I had one more battery, I could have made it. that? A wing? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Cart. So I can get five at once if I want. Let's do that. <laughs> no luck. I do have a battery. I might save it before I try it. Try this again. Why must you snap like that? I don't. It's a steering wheel. There it is. I'm going to save before I attempt it. Oh, it's a big battery. This might get me all the way. Let's see. Okay. Put it out 
that. Every little bit of distance gained. Then hopefully this should be enough to get across. We'll see. Okay. Hit it. I think I need to do this. Which is give it a bit of momentum, then let it cruise for a few seconds. Then the moment I see it start dipping, go again. Just to get the maximum out of this. Because it's a fair distance away. to the big battery now. Oh no, it's, it's gonna shatter. Okay, I saw what happened. Come on, come on, come on, you bastard! <laughs> come on! Come on! Okay. I made it. Big battery, yeah, uh, sort of a waste, but I mean, I got here in the end. While I'm here... So I believe these will be important at some point. Over there. Huck. Chillin', I'm gonna need your help here. Huck. Whoa. Huck. Oh no, oh. This, this is it's high enough to count a space. Oh, this is cool. Huck. It has different gravity here. Timbers Shrine. The fuck? You who set forth in this labyrinth of the sky. Go to the labyrinth of the land. Deep within its corridors, a dragon ring sleeps awaiting the one who will take it. Can I at least fast travel here? Oh, that's... No, that's shit. That is so shit. It's not even gonna let me come back here easily. Oh wait, no, this is fine. This counts. I thought these two were together, but they're independent. It's okay, there's a travel gate here. This is something else, then. I thought for a sec... Yeah, it's okay.
gravity and velocity. What is this? Is this just act as a guide? I think it is. Fire any tears yeah yeah you got one from the first boss which where children came from ah I see I mean kind of I'm not sure what it wants me to do here. This is one of these things where it's like, you experiment and then you get it. Get this. You got sidetracking going to the Rito village. Yeah, that's it's gonna be common. Sidetracking is very easy. Took me two streams to get to where I was going. Because this doesn't work the same as stasis, so what does it want me to do here?
What? Does the ball? There it is. You can't find a statue to pray at. Um. Do you know the basement at uh, the landing? There's one in the basement at the landing. You just go down the ladder. Yeah, that's just... I don't get this one. really not sure what it wants me to do. This is one of those things where I just don't understand how it works yet. There's got to be a trick to this. Around, not that I could see. This is one of these ones where it's just. It's a trial and error thing, but if if you really don't understand how. What they're trying to get you do, to do is like a trick. But if you don't get that trick, then I don't understand how you would do this. This isn't like stasis where you build up momentum. And this is here to act as a guide. It's a visual indicator, clearly. But I, I don't understand the purpose of it. What does it want me to do here? Oh, it's a gravity thing. Wow. Okay. This this comes down to just when it's a simple solution, I will overcomplicate it to the max. But 
then... If it's something that's a little convoluted, I'll get it pretty easily. That didn't work. Oh, but you can keep it like this. Okay. <laughs> well, I wonder where I'm going. This worth that I wonder. Violence is always the answer, even against inanimate objects. Got it. <laughs> Just, it's a uh, very, it's a very 90s kid thing. It's like when something doesn't work, just smack the side of it. You ever see those things where it says without without revealing your age, just say a sentence. Um, without revealing your age, say a sentence about gaming a gaming struggle you experienced. Well, I'll give you mine. My gaming struggle is that I had to turn the TV to a particular channel to be able to play games. Turn it to, uh, what was it, like, channel 3 and 11? And then you had to, uh, yeah, otherwise the NES didn't work. <laughs> yeah, channel 3. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that, that'll blow the minds of some people that you had to turn your TV to a particular channel. Rubbing the screen with your hand to feel the static. Ah. Thought you were gonna say, uh, trying to use your portable console without a backlight. <laughs> Why not all the seasons, exactly. Yeah, that used to be a thing, right? It just. Kind of crazy, right? Like, because the uh, the RF adapter—that's how it used to hook up before composite. Had to turn the TV to a particular station channel. Okay. Well, the good news is I can come back here anytime. Okay. I'm going to that thing. You hated using CRTs, you could hear the high frequencies. No kidding. You must have had very sensitive hearing. But I mean, CRTs made games look a different way, you know? Because there were games that had their graphics designed with CRT in mind. Uh, 
Oh. Good thing I... There we go. I guess I gotta do the ground thing first, huh? I mean, you could, you could hear it's TV, you could hear all the TVs. No, no, like, there are certain TVs where I, I'll give you, you could, you could hear them. Some were more pronounced than, than others. Or maybe it just became like white noise to me, I don't know. Yeah, that does not look good, does it? I mean, it's probably you're just sensitive to the sound. That's all. Like, uh... Some people hate nails on a chalkboard. set out with great enthusiasm, but so far I haven't found anything other than an endless supply of bitter cold. If the Zone I were going to bother to carve a note into that slab, couldn't they have etched a few hints in there too? How long has that slab been at the entrance to the site anyway? I might be wrong, but I don't think it was there before the upheaval. Doesn't even let you. It's okay. I'll take my time. I mean, it's probably important that I get that. this pink color. This looks like someone's playing Splatoon. I can probably do this and get away with it. There we go. It's engraved with ancient zone I take text can't make out what it says. Should probably take a photo of it. The promo doesn't show hearts. Interesting. The dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth thief. Wave her and you shall receive due compensation. Toro deciphered them for us, but has since run off to another newly discovered room for further study. Writing frankly, I see his absence as an opportunity. Any discoveries that may lie within will all be credited to me. My name will be forever tied to solving the mysteries of the Zonai civilization. I gathered a haul of Hylian pine cones and will use them to mark my trail. Ah, uh, okay. It's a good thing I have. So, I... did they do that on purpose, just out of spite? It's just someone that decides to just jump into the labyrinth from the sky, like me. Wouldn't read that, and would just pick up the pine cones without knowing the significance. The problem is I did pick up a couple, but it should be okay. I just find the next one and just don't touch it. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm not sure I agree with not with not showing hearts. It's just there's a difference between I guess unnecessary information that causes screen clutter and just I don't know a basic essential. Oh, fuckity fuck fuck. Okay, pine, pine cones. I don't see any more pine cones though. Oh, it's over there. I can see it. Had more of the uh, the new Mountain Dew flavor in Australia, which is this. It's, I don't know if it's watermelon or it's just melon in general, but it's good. But then it got me thinking, like, how did they develop the flavor for artificial watermelon? Because it's not watermelon, <laughs> if you think about it. It's not really close. Same with stuff like grape. Artificial grape flavor is not grape flavor, and yet. We associate it with a why. It doesn't make sense. It's it's not even remotely close to the uh the flavor it's going for. Neither is strawberry either. Just any other berry flavors is just this thing. I mean artificial apple tastes like apple, artificial banana tastes like banana. Same with orange and lemon, right? They've got those down, but for some reason, watermelon, strawberry, grape, it's just, they're, they're not what they are. But people drink it. No, they do. It's just, how did we arrive at that, you know? Strong Zonite Sword. I'll get rid of the Travelers. Science? Yeah, but it's, it's not representative of what it is, you know? It would have been accepted. Just imagine... They bring out... They bring out this bubblegum for the first time. It's like the first time we've had flavored bubblegum or a flavored beverage. You're the first to try it. And before this, you've, you've had what juice was, right? And that's this new thing. It's instant. And then you taste it and it's like, what? This, this says it tastes like grape, but it tastes nothing like grape. At some point, it got accepted as, oh, yeah, this is grape. These, they, this is what we call shower thoughts, or, you know, uh, substance that isn't legal in Australia yet, thoughts. I 
Unless it's for medicinal purposes in the state of Victoria, which is the state that I'm in. So let's just say it's for medicinal purposes. And you're thinking about grape flavor. I feel like I should see where I am. You've never tasted artificial grape to know. Have you tried any of the other ones though? Like say, uh, watermelon or strawberry or... I mean, even black currant or just any of the berry. Any kind of berry. Just doesn't seem to be right. I love that. You're like Mario. A long sword. Swap it out. How many states are there in Australia? I mean, the answer varies... Because... There's, uh... There's two that... It, some people will say six, some people will say eight. I, I learnt six. It's six states and two territories, but... Some people will refer to the others as states, basically. For simplicity, eight. One of them, one of one of them, literally being Melbourne and Sydney were fighting about who should be the capital city, so they put a state in the middle of the two, so they'd stop arguing, and that became the capital. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Hang on, let me. After shivering in the cold and cowering from the gloom, I finally made it. This pathway leads to the center of the ruins. There's a trail of lights here that almost beckoned me in. It must it must lead to the due compensation the slab mentioned. My historic making discovery is a mere steps away. You can do this, me. But yeah, that's, that's what happened, pretty much. Both Sydney and Melbourne wanted to be Australia's capital. And, uh... And Instead of picking one over the other, they made the Australian Capital Territory in the middle. And, uh, yeah, City of Canberra became the, the capital. Wow, that looks cool. This is funny because I wonder how many people get to this labyrinth and don't realize the significance of this or don't read the sign at the entry, which is what I almost did. I almost did the same thing. Whoa. Okay. Uh, we need to do something about this. I'm going to be lazy about it, chat. I suppose it's not lazy so much as just... Hang on. I need more room. Needs more room. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. <laughs> I mean, once once it's out, I don't, I don't care about what it's telling me about space. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe I kind of do. I don't think I can get through. <laughs> this might be stuck here. I mean, I don't care about that one. That one, they're, they're plenty, and I'm not really using them. Hold on. Yeah, that'll do. That's not what I was trying to do. Anyway. There we go. I should probably bring that with me just in case it happens again. Now that I think about it. We don't want to, yeah. I think that's fine. Maybe. Yeah, we're good. I've done it. At long last, I've found a relic of the Zonai civilization. Though my euphoria is short-lived, in the hours since my discovery, I've tried touching, hitting, and yelling at the relic, but it remains unresponsive. I'm starting to fear that I may not unravel the secret of the Zonai after all. The thought makes the cold even more bitter. Well, fine. I suppose it's time I crawl out of this frigid pit and report m and issue my report on my investigation. It's funny. Oh, it's like... I just wish you could just quick just stick with the thing that you're trying to throw instead of having to reselect it. I think that's the only complaint I have about the system is just it's not like Breath of the Wild where you swap to Ice Arrow and Fire Arrow and then you could just keep shooting them. Like that was nice. Yeah. Having to pop this up every time you want to change, I don't know. Be nice if you could craft arrows. Yeah. I still haven't tried using um parts for arrows, like using Hinox toenails for arrows is apparently a, a good thing.
Alright, that's another heart container. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? Oh, Twitch has, like, got... Official alerts overlays now. I'll have to look into that later. Huh. That looks rather ominous. For you who have conquered this labyrinth of the land, I, the ruler of Owls, have unlocked the door. Find it on the west side. Oh, oh. Really? Now it's like, get to the sky. That's fine. I wonder how many people did what I did. <laughs> Go to the sky one first. Okay. Now we can go in here. To you who set foot in my labyrinth of the sky, I offer a test of wisdom. Four ter terminals are hidden in this maze. Activate them all. Oh, like, so this is the cube divine beast. There's special music for this. There's eerie special music for this. Climb the walls? Really? Okay, listen. I'm going to have to say fuck that. One. I'm sure there was some kind of challenge I was meant to do here to get in, but I wasn't about to do that. Wow. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're out. We're out. about
Holy crap. Okay. Mighty longsword. Uh, I guess drop that. We can recover stamina. some food. Imagine there's something where you run out of air. Air's getting thinner. in there, Lonk. Alright. Made it. I can see this for what it is. So I think I got the one in the central room already, so let's just look around the edges here. That looks like a set of lights down there. Is that the entry? That's the entry. Yeah, okay. Looks like there's another chest there. I would imagine one of them is like in a tricky spot. Uh... This looks like it's something. Looks like there's enough going on here. Okay, what is this? It's kind of scary, because it's all, there's no floor, <laughs> it's all being done in the air. Each corner.
trying to land here. Okay. Shit. Following the mini map more than anything else. Okay, this looks promising. There it is. Okay. Which one's left? It's the eastern one. about to get the best sleep of your life. Enjoy. Especially if you don't have to think about work. Right hand side. Alright, this way. Wait. How do I... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. No where I want to head, I just need to orient that way somehow. What the fuck? It's all of them. And now t <laughs> to the roof. Oh my god, there's a Korok up there. Are you kidding me? There's a Korok on the roof. What is that? <laughs> what the Where is that going to send me? I mean, I... What do you mean? Okay. Does that mean there's that there's potentially one on the roof of the one on the ground? You have traversed this maze. Mark well my words. I've pulled apart the bars in the labyrinth of the land. Oh. From high above, fall to far below. Prove your courage by diving into the depths of the earth. The final way shall open to you. Wow, this is cool. Um, can I fast travel back up here? 
There's, there's, a, there's a Korok. There's a Korok! I need more bows. What the fuck is this? I'm not sure what this is. I don't have arrows either. What is this? This is not a jump off the edge one, clearly. I've never seen this kind of Korok before. I'm gonna mark it. I, I... <laughs> I'm not about to jump off the edge. Stop. I'm not about to jump off the edge. This is the one where you land on the target. Yeah, no. Oh, what? No, come on, really? Really? Really, game? Prove your courage, huh? This is really cool, but okay, we have we have glow food. Music though. I don't have many arrows, that's why I opted for the glow food. Thank you, little buddy. Cry. Ow! Oh, it's moving. The moving target.
we're you we're yeah, we're going big weapon on this one. Serve ours here. The problem is I don't have arrows. This would be easier. I have to conserve them. Because they are my light source. Positive this is gonna be nothing. <laughs> Kinda just throw them. I can, it's just I still need to conserve arrows regardless of that. I don't want to waste them all on this thing. Shuffling. Good old children. Ah! Okay, full health.
thinking maybe I could delay it with this. Going better. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Got me by surprise. Okay, going bonus hearts. the thing. Whoa. Look at this. Okay, and now we just take a uh... <laughs> so, I, uh, I don't know what they were thinking with that sound. You who have traversed this labyrinth of depths. This was a trial of your talents in overcoming it. You have shown yourself to be of body, skill, and mind. In my name as the ruler of owls, I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. Armor wreathed in otherworldly evil hidden away since days of old. Take it now. Evil spirit greaves. Some people believe these greaves are inspired or inspirited by a malevolent entity. They are rather refined. Interesting. Is that it? have evil pants. So that's fun. Uh chat. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good idea, does it? Or is this just where I was be below? Okay, it's just where I was below. I don't think there's anything else. I think it all just leads down here. So it's, it's all part of a set. I mean, this was neat. Because it wasn't just a shrine thing, and it was three sections. The wisdom was labyrinth. The courage was the... The diving. I'm 
Um, yeah. I get it. I see what they did here. Alright, I guess we're done here, huh? Now... I gotta go back up here and see what's what with the Korok. How's it already been two- I've been playing for two hours already. <laughs> it's been two hours. Hopefully this will just take me straight up. Okay, cool. Well, this makes it less of a pain. So... That's it. Or is this a render distance thing? I have to follow the thing down, clearly. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. I just have to examine it. This is gonna work. I'm going to try. It's a my final one, but I'll make more later. Directly above it now. What is this? Oh, this is something else. This isn't the Korok Forest. Oh, crap. I just realized what I had to do. I mean, that's fine. This is covering it. Of course it's raining now. Now I need to move this thing out of the way. We have fans, so that's fine. Thank <laughs> you. 
Should be enough. At least, I, I simplified this to some degree. I guess I wasn't too hard looking at it. came to repair the Skyview Tower, but the terminal hasn't been working. Until now, it's started working again, even without me doing anything. <laughs> huh? There was something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower. Hmm, the terminal and the lid on top of the tower are connected. So if the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I'm in a hurry and everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head out. Thank you for fixing the Skyview Tower. I'm off. Okay. Before we launch, who are you? Oi! Hey! Hello, my brother in research. I was waiting for you. Ah. You were? That's right. I'm the one who discovered these big ruins way out here, but I wasn't able to make much progress on investigating them. I'm mm. um, only one Hylian, and this, alas, is not a one Hylian job. That's why I wrote to the Zonai survey team asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. Mm. And here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time. What? What? You're not a Zonai survey team researcher. You're just some guy. I see. Aww. So few people come through here. I assumed you had to be the assistant I asked for. My mistake. After all of the trouble I've gone through. Can't they send one assistant to help with my monolith research? Monolith research? Oops, did you hear that? Sorry. Scrub that from your brain. That's not meant to be public mm. knowledge. If you were from the Zonai survey team, I could tell you about what I've discovered so far, but you're not, so let me help. Mm. Hmm, I appreciate the offer, but that's really not allowed. Then again, though he may not be a researcher, he does look like of an adventurer about him. Maybe his expertise will get things back on track. Oh. You know what? You're hired. For this project alone, I'm appointing you as my research assistant. Come on. Let's find out what secrets these ruins are hiding. Ah. Well then, we can dive right in. I'll start by showing you what my research has uncovered so far. Wait here. Ugh. Ah. Take a look. I think you'll be pretty surprised by this discovery. Display the power of the Sage of Wind to the owl protected by many dragons. Mm. Eh, are you surprised? Yeah, wow. Ah. Right, right? Oh. The Zona were an ancient civilization with their own system of writing. Almost no one living today can read Zonai script. But you can read the inscription on that monolith, right? Th that's because it's written in Hyrulean. Mm. Though these ruins appear to be Zonai in origin, they feature texts written in modern Hyrulean. How could that be? Who built these ruins and for what purpose? Ah. This is just a possibility, but the monoliths that were found might be pointing to a spot somewhere in the ruins. You and me, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I need you to find that spot. There we may find yet another monolith that te tells us why these ruins were built. <laughs> it's just a hunch, but it's also your boss's hunch, so... Didn't even check job history, no, just... Judge the book by its cover, it's fine. Let's get the, the tower. I don't think Link would have 10 years job experience. I mean, in, in these games, he's... He's always a teenager. Never really above the age of 20, so you know. Unless he had a job as a toddler.
Okay. Hey, Messiah. How are you today? How's it going? Tiny star. Well, I mean, since I'm up here. Very good. How about me? Doing okay. Just getting through the work week. Looking forward to the weekend. I was messing around with the, uh, the HDMI N64 earlier, and it's, it's look, it looks good. It works. But then also, I was talking about the Mountain Dew flavor that we have here. The new one. Which I'm more excited about than I should be, but we just don't get many different flavors of things. It's a melon or watermelon flavored one and I was saying like how did we arrive at that artificial flavor because it's not really representative of watermelon and neither is artificial grape or strawberry. It's just at some point we accepted it as yes this is what it is but it's not really that. It's another one of these fetch the stone ones. More of these devices. <laughs> what? Okay. Homing cart? Automatically heads for monsters. I'm gonna do that again. There's some interesting stuff here. Huh. Yeah, just get more devices. Oh, the clouds. Wow, that looks cool. That looked pretty cool. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. She sounds so different. What's that sound? Oh, that. Okay, let's find out where the stone is. The only thing I did have to do was clean the Banjo-Kazooie cartridge, because it was a little, uh, a little bit finicky. But now it works every time. Oh, it's down there. Ugh. Oh, and there's a fight down there, too. Okay, well. I should probably go up there first. Yeah, that should do.
wait, there's nothing up here. Hmm. I find that hard to believe. There's a single apple. Why is there a single apple? I was half expecting a Korok there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this might be another one of these ones where I have to go underneath. Let's see. Hmm, doesn't look like there's anything there. I doubt this will let me shoot up. Let's see. Yeah, it's too far away. Okay. <laughs> I think these are the only ones that are, I'm not... I'm not that keen on. I mean, they're, they're okay, it's just... It's a fetch quest. Oh, this was the one directly above the Lost Woods. Well, that structure there. Wait, what is that? Yeah, this is the one directly above the Lost Woods, so... fight you. It's just, it's just number one. We're fine. Rip Lionel Blade. Alright, we're using this next. Now comes the fun part. I love that this construct was made out of a steering wheel. Um, I guess let's take this. <laughs> I gotta stop making that noise. That's not really going to get me there, though. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to have to bring these with me. What? I got the feeling this is going to go horribly wrong. You think I'm bad with sounds, just trying to mimic the sounds that characters make. I also have a habit of doing that with certain songs. Especially ones where it just what it, what they're saying seems to be gibberish.
You ever hear that song, Cut and I, Joe? It's old. But for the longest amount of time, you just would repeat it. <laughs> oh man, that's awfully telling of me. Don't have to sing the songs, just that's all I need to know. Oh yeah, this is this is going to work. Uh oh. Oh, it worked. I think. Oh, this is this is risky. Okay, no. If you slow down the lyrics to the song, you figure out what he's saying. There was also that. That song. Hang on. Ah! Oh god. Too high! Why is it still going? Why is it still going? Why is it still going? Oh, shit. This has to work. If it does. Ah! No! Shit. Get it. Get it. Fuck. Ah! Oh, no. At the light. <laughs> I'm gonna have to load. Did it auto say? Uh, how how long ago was that? Five five minutes ago. I have no choice. <laughs> it went up too high. I was just worried that it wasn't. It didn't. It didn't make it to a good height. Oh, wanker. Really? It, it didn't decide to autosave once the fight was done. not to save. Yes. Well done, Chulin. Don't you, don't you dare. Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? I'm sorry. For those that know that song, they're gonna get it stuck in their head now. Ah! 
So whatever I did worked. Just... I think I just need to make the starting point higher. That's all. Everything about it was fine. But I get the feeling that's gonna come loose. I'm so disappointed in how close I was. Okay. Should hopefully be better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this time. What I'm going to do. Is this shock emitter? Okay, this time. Just need to adjust it to get to the middle, that's all. It's kind of drifting. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my spell. Ugh, okay. Get to the middle. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Now... Because this is just going to bounce. This is what I'm going to do. This is this is a safety carriage more than anything else. All right, so it doesn't roll off the fucking cliff, and it should just fall straight forward. Oh shit. <laughs> let's let's try that again. I didn't realize it was that close to the edge. It's okay. That's what we have rewind time for. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, why does this game have to be so annoying? Stop. 
that. It needs to be here. Perfect. Nice aim. I try. It worked. I just didn't realize how off center I was. Ah, <sighs> okay. I mean, these ones are just fetch quests. I don't know. They're all right. I wouldn't say that they're amazing. space for it, so I, I guess. Done three of the four zones. Cool. I assume not all the shrines, though. I'm trying to take my time with it, because I don't want it to be a case of... ...do the bosses and then it's just shrines for the rest of the game. I want to spread it out nice and evenly. So, let's do a boss, do shrines for a while, then do another boss, do shrines for a bit more time. So then it's not just shrines for the rest of the game. Because otherwise it'll feel a lot like Breath of the Wild, which I don't want to do. Even though I know, like, if the Rito segment is anything to go by, the other boss segments must be amazing. But I'm not doing them. Not yet, anyway. Like, you ever, you ever have a plate of food that has vegetables and meat, and then you just save the meat for the end? I do that. I don't care if it's, like, childlike. <laughs> I still do it as an adult. The meat is the good stuff. It's like, it's a little reward at the end of your meal. Should be able to make it. Now that I have, I mean, with Chulin's power, it should I should make it to that. I love how I said I'm going to the underground, and it's just been this constant distraction. I'm <laughs> just oh, there's more stuff to do here. But I don't think I can get any. I mean, let's see. Let's see what this is. Is that childlike? I mean, I I. I had someone say that that was very childish once. But then again, um, she thought playing too much games was also childish, so fuck her opinion. Oh. 
really not allowed? Why not? Don't children eat the thing they like the most and leave the rest? Uh, no. Well, there's two ways to go. It's either you... You do that, and then it's like, leave the rest, or... Like, let's say there's not... Everything on the plate, you, you, you enjoy it to some extent, but... There's something that you really enjoy. You'll... Try to save as much of what you really enjoy, and then you just eat that at the end and nothing else. You can do both. It doesn't, it doesn't let you, it's disabled the ability, which is interesting. Calling that childish sounds like it was a toxic person. They were. And that's why I don't associate with that person anymore. Life's too short, you know. I'm sure we'll be okay. Hopefully I have the stamina. Do I have any stamina recovery food? I have one more. I may as well now. I'll be able to climb this, but I'll get as far as I can. I do you find it interesting that this is disabled? Okay, well, this has to be Chillin's ability to get across there. I don't know if I should be wasting time here. I mean, even if I make it to the top... Do I want to hit? No. I'm good. I've been here for like a total of two minutes. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure I'll figure it out later. Where is that over there? What is that? Oh no, but that's where I came from. I did save, right? Let me save here. That thumbnail looks weird. I'm gonna save here and I'm gonna dive instead. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait. This might be the diving thing. 
It's the ceremony thing. Yeah, okay. I've done one of these before. Good thing I decided to, uh, yeah, do that. Down took up. Yeah, I guess that's what I, I didn't need a hint. <laughs> Just needed a minute. I mean, I'm wearing the wingsuit from the other one, so I would have figured it out. Shit. I guess I don't need to worry about speed on this one. I should still do it. This one seems a little harder. Spend a good 15 minutes trying to go up. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen to me. It was going to be fine. <laughs> Either way. Definitely going to the underground once this sort of archipelago is done. Another eventide type thing. Light shield, <laughs> wooden stick. Oh, that's lame. I, you, you mean to tell me I can't? Dude, I'm taking your rubies. I see what you're supposed to do. First time I've used magic, so... Oh, no. I need to put away the light shield. Not what I want to do. I want to be able to lock on, but not necessarily use the shield. Okay, 
Careful, careful, careful. Ah. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. Don't have arrows. Oh my god. Can I eat? I got no food. annoying. I have to get... I don't know why the others got attracted. Maybe there was a stray projectile or something. Preservation thing is just to make sure that they don't get it. Why? Shit, this is bad. Okay, one down. I'm gonna go hide for a minute. Oh, okay. No, apparently not allowed. What the hell? Did it just become unarmed? There. Why is this so weirdly inaccurate? Oh 
Wow. Yeah. I don't like the sort of the shield emitter. It's really inaccurate. Guess I got no choice but to go for it again. Why does it do that? Why is it aiming straight up? It's very easy to make the emitter on the shield just shoots off target. Bright elixir, okay. Well, yeah. I'm sure at some point. Another two. Oh, that looks weird. Because <laughs> it's dark after they're gone. Okay. Now I can go back to, uh... To this. Arrows. The superb technique suggests that you have done this before. I expect greatness from you in the real ceremony. The time has come for the dive ceremony. Assuming you are ready, let's do it. So that currency is like, if you think about it, it's whatever makes the core of their beings. Shit. I've already ruined that. Record time. <laughs> Is 
This one's a bit trickier. Whoa, camera. Why? Ah, it's a moving target, that's why. The other ones were static. I bet you it was 20 seconds. <laughs> I needed to beat. I was off by 0. 0.7. Your time was 20.7. What an unbelievably magnificent showing. This is pretty mature, you more than earned it. Oh no. I got glide tights. There we go. You are faster and more courageous than I have witnessed. Take this in honor of your incredible. Yeah, cool. No, I'm good. Oh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> this is like uh, my village people outfit. Uh, yeah, cool. Where am I? Saving before I do this. If I treat this as like Okay, a little bit further up. Wow. Oh. Can't see it. <laughs> this forest is still not without its problems. All right. Oh sh! Ah! Damn it! I think I need to be quicker. <laughs> it might work. At least it puts me back up here. Puts me on the last known platform. Like if I just dive into the ground. The sound effect for the thing went off. Okay. Just go, 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 go. <gasps> Nearly. I just I need to be less I need to be less afraid. directly on it. Go. Ah. <laughs> Bullshit. Okay. I just cuz I remembered why I have the fairy. Okay, hold on. There, there was a set of there was a set of lights. There was a set of lights. I'm I'm not done with this. I saw a set of lights, so it's slightly to the right there were a set of lights, and I'm guessing those lights are safety. I just need to be quick. Alright. Wait a minute. Okay, I didn't mark it. Did 
Because that has to be the one in the middle. Okay. So line it up. It was roughly here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where were the lights? Just slightly, slightly south. Okay. I saw I saw it. I saw it. I want to try it because this is, this is like appeasing my inner child. This is the sort of stuff that I would do. If I could see a scenario where I could realistically get through something that wasn't intended, then I'll try. Okay. It's nice to know that I can just slam into the ground and there's no recourse. It's a slam into the ground, you'll be fine. Okay, it is roughly there. Just a little bit, a little bit north. You could see the lights there. Because if you reach a safety zone in time, it does cancel it out. Okay, it's roughly here. Oh, that's not going to make it. I hit a tree on the way down. I was just unlucky. Try again. I'm gonna try it a couple more times. Cause I'm stubborn. You got sidetracked, just wandering along and then trying. Yeah. I said I was going to the underground today, and I will. It's just... I need to see this through. Yes, tenacity. But admittedly, this is a little bit of stubbornness because it's probably been programmed in a way that doesn't allow this. Oh shit! No! Ah, oh, there was light there. Okay. For a, for a split second, I thought I had it. <laughs> it's it's definitely been coded that if you don't get in the intended way, it's going to put you back. This is pretty funny to try, though. I'm going to try the other one. Let's see what's at the other one. I'm hoping one of them I'll be able to dive onto directly. And then there's like a travel gate. Well, here's the thing. I have... Dude. <laughs> I mean, it worked. Like, you can see. Oh shit, that's not gonna work. You could see that the inn registered. Like, it's, it registered that I got to the middle of it. Because you can see that, yeah, it's there. I'm gonna try one more time, one more time. I think the middle one is the way to go. I haven't even been thinking about Hyrule Castle. Okay, let's just line it up. Like, I'm going to dive directly on top of it. Okay. Go. 
Straight down. Yeah, it doesn't allow it. I tried. I thought by getting the shrine to... Oh, shit it. <laughs> I mean, it's there. I just can't travel to it. It is there. I did get it to, to register. Okay, oh, that's fine. I'll load. I don't want to waste the ferry, but... Tried the elevator trick, it worked to a point, then the fall from that height flipped the board over. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine. It gets more difficult the higher and higher you go. But I mean, I think the way to do it would be to improve it. Get it to a certain... Attach rockets to one of the boards. And then once you reach a height where you feel pretty comfortable, then you use rockets to send it even higher. Like, you just keep doing that. In fact, I could probably... I don't think I even need to do that myself. Like, I'm kind of in a position where I can go there. I said it was, uh, I forgot where it was. But there's a room. I think I can get it. I forgot what room it is, but... Oh. Once I get on there, it's just it's pretty straightforward to get back up there, huh? That's fine. May as well. I thought for a sec the nose diving into the Korok forest was going to work. Because <laughs> it did light up like as if things were going back to normal, but then it kicked me out. The way up. Sometimes you gotta try. Got nothing to lose in trying. You miss all the shots you don't take or some shit like that. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna be good for business. <laughs> Can I make this up? going to flip me the way. <laughs> Extra proud of that one. I counted for the flip. Oh, 
Oh god, no. Stop. Shit. Rewind. Should still work. Oh yeah, there's the conservation of momentum as well. Forget about that. Preservation. <laughs> oh, crap word is it's starting to get late here. It is only 10, but when you've had a long day, 10 can sometimes feel lighter. Oh man, come on. This is, this is supposed to be the easy way, damn it. It's because I didn't move this far back enough. There we go. Should hopefully go better. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see how I get up on this one. <laughs> I tried. Okay. I think. Keep hang on, it can, it can still work. That one could still work, potentially. Let's see. I'm spending so much time on this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got up. That's right. <laughs> and that sound effect. That makes it seem like, oh yeah, yeah, good job. That's that's what you were supposed to do. Yes, well done. You did it. You solved it. You solved the secret. It's just it's enabling this behavior. I don't think I even needed to do that, but you know what? It's fine. Wow, that wasn't even worth it. I'm still gonna keep going. Be high enough. No, no why? <laughs> why? Why? Why you do this? Oh, this is gonna suck. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Drop it. 
You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Going up. Perfect. Yeah, look, I did it. <laughs> Intended way to solve the puzzle. <laughs> no hot messes there. Okay, well, let's go down this rabbit hole. Just moblins just chilling over there. Whoa. I mean, I'm capable. Oh, Chulin's already, yep, giving him. This is a bad idea. Let's see. Oh, this is a bad idea. But it doesn't punish me for doing this, so that's good. I'm sure I'll figure it out. It might even be in my adventure log, potentially. Okay, let me look at this. I do find it funny you can do that without any issues. It also, ah, resets, resets them being pissed at you. Because you disappear for long enough. Interesting. I feel like I could have surfaced there and been fine. Let's move a little bit here. Do it again. Ow. Taking note of the position. That looks promising. Alright, so head. I mean, I guess even if I take a, a hit. Probably not the worst. Oh, this is not bad. There we go. Okay, now...
All right. This is, this is like, uh, now, my safety toboggan. The floor is lava. Save. should be safe. I mean, last time there was something in the Sanctum, so let's see. I think it's this. I remember it mentioning two torches, so... Yep, this is it. Well, that was easy. Let's... Okay. <laughs> so it's the same thing, but with leather on top. And then I just leave, right? I mean, I can just warp out. I don't really need to... Yeah. We're good. Oh, castle map. Shit. Never mind. Yeah, Cora probably at the top of the castle. Guess I just didn't want to explore this too much right now, but I guess at the very least get the top of it done. Oh, come on, really? In Breath of the Wild that would have been fine. I swear, they've just made it easier to slip in certain circumstances now. I know I'll wear my non-slip gear. Which still probably won't work. started raining. No, 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 we'll start you trying to explore the top of the castle. Oh, let me introduce you to this system of rain we have in the game. Adds ambience. Whoops. Makes the mood more engaging. Immersion. Don't you want reality, eh?
chest here. Ooh, I'll take that. Good. Kind of figured. Oh. I love that the lore of those spears is that they break easily. Oh, so you mean... The people that were entrusted with protect it, protecting the princess have... Things that are likely to break, instead of things that are durable, and... Yeah, that's... And you wonder why the kingdom's gone to shit twice. Just notice it's not a 3D map this time around. I'm very, very grateful for that. Ugh, 3D maps are just awful. Yeah. I, I hated the 3D maps as well. Just any 3D map, it's just. You spend a longer time trying to orient yourself in a 3D space that it defeats the per the primary purpose of the map which is to try and orient yourself oh what is this dusk bow I mean it, it probably is something that can break Okay, so there's more than one thing to get here. Which... Huh. You know what? There's also the, the shield. There's also the matter of the shield. But do I really want to do that right now? I don't know. I'm not convinced. Oh, you cunt. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Immersion. Ambience. Immersion. Ambience. Don't worry, player. We've made something that'll make it easier for you to climb in the rain. Won't work. Completely. How, I, I just... Why were they insistent on keeping the system? There was just so much hate towards it. I've used this analogy before with other times Nintendo has have made questionable decisions, but it's like, if Nintendo were firefighters, they would turn up to your house with this giant box of ice cubes and then leave and be like, yeah, use this. 
instead of putting out the actual fire. Just put out the fucking fire. <laughs> oh my god. There's a car here, that's the last part. Do I have any... I did not make slip resistance. Yes, just wait. Just wait for the rainstorm to be over. That's the solution. Yep, cool. Cool system. It could be worse. It could... Please, no thunderstorm. I feel like this tower is going to act like a lightning rod and I'm just going to die. This tower is a literal lightning rod. <laughs> I'm standing on a lightning rod. You know, whatever comes next, I hope, I hope whoever designs this game. You know, we talk about the difference between stubbornness, right? The difference <laughs> of being stubborn and being tenacious. Insisting that slipping mechanics are a good thing to have in Zelda games. That's an example of being stubborn, not tenacious thinking, oh no, the players, they're just not used to it, but I i truly believe this is the right thing to do for our games. That is such a stubborn attitude. I do appreciate when designers stick to their guns, despite... Sometimes, you know, things aren't well received. There's, there's the old saying of... If... We listen to people, we'd have faster horses instead of cars, right? Sometimes change can be a good thing, even though people don't realize it immediately. And then there's shit like this. Or it's just, dude, give it up. It didn't, it didn't work the first time. You really should have removed it this time around. This is one of those cases where they really should have listened to the overwhelming amount of people that just absolutely hate slipping in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I made it. I, I had I had to wait. I had to wait an unreasonable amount of time to make it, but I made it. What is this island over here? Where's the beam of light? Hang on, hang on. Land, land, land. land. No! <laughs> okay, where is this? Relative to where I am. There. Okay. That's where I'm going. Oh, okay, I see. They look like a special island, but it's not. But there's probably something there, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, you would... Damn it, I see it. You would think the shield would be in this castle somewhere. Yeah. I'm assuming the shield's here. I'm, I'm not suggesting it could be here. Like, 
a hundred percent chance it could be here. But I can... I feel like if it's gonna be anywhere. Okay, this is clearly a bait and a trap. There's a drawbridge here. I would just assume it would be here. What is this? Oh, it's not. I thought for sure this would be a... a trap. Uh... I mean, royal stuff is better. Oh. I should definitely keep the royal stuff. Uh, got one of these, let's just drop it. of magic so let's just stick to that okay going up yeah, I mean I'm making the assumption here to be honest I don't really want to spend much more time here I think we're good I got two things out of this. What? It's a like like. Fire one at that. There's all got the photo. Yeah, I'm chilling. But the problem is, like, I can't reach that. made this castle a lot more eerie. I see Koroks on the way down. Oh no, this is already the, the end of it. Yeah, this is already the end of it. little uh, detour. That did not work out as I had hoped. doing <laughs> just 
пока. <laughs> Blow myself up. Fine, I survived. I have the bow, so that's cool. I actually have a lot of new things to take photos of. That looks normal. Please. There we go. The health situation is less dire now. Okay, it's time for an intermission, and we're going to start doing the underground thing. So we're going to start doing Josh's quest, and go from there, but it's time for a short intermission first. So this is the part where I say, bye YouTube, thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying, and consider pressing buttons and commenting and all that fun algorithm stuff if you've got a chance. But otherwise, yeah, hope you enjoyed. See ya.